everybody, welcome back. For those of you that are new, my name is Susan. I am a freelance fiction editor specializing in science fiction, fantasy, and romance. So we are finally now in March. I cannot believe we've made it. Actually, as I'm recording this video, it is 50 degrees outside, which for any of you that are familiar with the Midwest at all, you know it is an absolute miracle that it is the beginning of March and it's warm. Time is absolutely flying and it is again time to talk about what I am adding to my TBR this month, what amazing books are coming out this month, and after looking looking through everything that's coming out or everything that I could find that was coming out. I had a hard time narrowing it down, but I have picked some excellent books that I am looking forward to reading and I'll bet are going to go on your TBR list as well. First on the list is Crimson Rain by Amelie Wen Zhao. This is book three in the Blood Air trilogy. It's a retelling of the Anastasia story, but with tons of magic and darkness and life or death politics. As someone who's been obsessed with Anastasia since a young age. It was awesome to see such a great take on this and I've been dying for book three and I'm so excited that we are finally to the point where the last book comes out so that I can know how it ends. I don't want to give too much away. Obviously this is book three so if you haven't started it yet there's not a whole ton I can say without giving a ton of spoilers so all I will say is if you haven't started this series you definitely should have it on your list or if you have and you like me have been waiting for book three to come out it actually came out this past Tuesday so feel free to already run to the bookstore and grab it. The next book I'm looking forward to is The League of Gentlewoman Witches. Say that ten times fast. Gentlewoman Witches. Which is actually book Book two in a series that I had not heard of until I started doing my research into what was coming out this month. But I can tell you right now, now that I know it's there, I am getting all of these books the moment they come out. Even just from reading the back cover copy, you can feel the voice in this story. I challenge you when you look this up and you read the back cover copy not to hear it in just such a posh beautiful accent throwing you in the atmosphere even before you crack the cover. And then you add in a pirate and a theft and witches and romance and I am obviously sold. So this is 100% on my TBR and it comes out on the 15th. The third book I'm looking forward to is The Bone Orchard by Sarah Muller. Look how beautiful this cover is. It is so hauntingly gorgeous. And then you pair that with the hook and I immediately added it to my March TBR. Me trying to summarize what this book is about is not going to nearly do it the justice of actually reading the copy that they came up with because I think it is so brilliantly done, so I'm gonna cheat and read it. <laughs> A whodunit set in a lush gothic world of secrets and magic, where a dying emperor charges his favorite concubine with solving his own murder and preventing the culprit, which undoubtedly is one of his three terrible sons, from taking control of the empire. I challenge any of you to tell me you don't immediately want to read that after seeing the cover and hearing that pitch. It just sounds awesome. And it is out on the 22nd. My final book for this month is Sweep of Stars by Maurice Brodus. This is the first book in a new sci-fi trilogy that is about an empire, a new group of people that are going further into space. They're exploring, trying to find a utopia, a better way of life, wanting to create a better world or a galaxy as this case may be. But of course there are those that would see them burn for this progress. This book follows multiple point of views. It follows a captain, an elite warrior, and a leader really immersing you into all sides of this conflict and this epic tale. New sci-fi adventure, epic sci-fi like this, especially books that have really strong female characters like it sounds this one does are on my auto buy list automatically so I cannot wait for this one to come out on the 29th. I could have chosen so many more as with every month it is a really big challenge to make this list manageable in any way shape or form so you don't just hear me ramble on for hours about the books that I would really love to be able to read in one month that are coming out. But what are you reading this month? What am I missing? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel as well as I'd love to hear from you what you're enjoying, what you're reading, and until next week, keep reading! <music>